Hey everybody, it's Robin, and I'm going to show you today um, part of a project I'm going to do to make another frame item to match this one. Uh, here is their invitation. And I like how they have the deers in the little heart and all that. So, super cute. And that's just the kind of people they are. And you can see I have a piece of my camouflage paper covering up their last names um, that matches the edges of theirs and that's why in this picture layout I use the camouflage and that will fit a 5x7 of their wedding picture and I am going to show you a part of the uh, part of what I'm going to put in their frame to match that now if you see back in the video I made of a gift um, would have been last March or April for somebody I used some deer antlers and I am excited that I had somebody give me one my girl Megan and Brett and what I'm gonna do with these I don't know if you can see where I had written their name and I am going to use my Dremel and carve out their names in this and I have I just have a drill bit on it that seemed to work the best and I'll show you a little bit how I do this and I'll do it in fast mode so you don't hear all the noise because I don't know how to mute it <laughs> so here we go and you'll see the S for Savannah right there Okay, it's going to be hard to see it until I have, let me try this other light, sorry. You can kind of see it, I, you probably are seeing it and I just can't see it on my little camera. But once I get it all carved out, I will add ink to it. These stink too when you're carving on them. Um, now I'm going to add some ink to it. And how I do that, I use walnut stain. I put it on my little block and I use my water brush and just go in the lines. And then this helps me. I can go back over it and see where I need to kind of uh, maybe touch it up each letter a little bit and I don't look for perfection with it because I know um, if you were really carving into something 
it wouldn't be perfect. I'm going to make that H a little bigger. Okay, I worked on the a, S a little bit, and then the H, I made it a little higher. Cool, and then I'll darken up the letters a little bit more. Is perfect yay but you can see I'm gonna do a heart over here just needs a little bit more carving go yay with a little I drew a arrow through the heart so super cute um, I'm gonna take some of the whiteness off a little bit I hope there we go love it and I'm going to finish the whole project so I can get Here is the finished antler it turned out just the way I wanted it to. It's perfect. They're going to love it. So, um, I can't wait to hear from her after she opens this. Up at the top, you can see when, I'll tell you, when Brett brought me the um, antler to use, he had to cut it. So I used the other half of the antler up there on top. The cutouts for the established in their name is from... Lacy Labels, and it's the 13th button I used. I like that frame. And when I cut it out, the brown looked the best, but then in some parts of it, the brown, it, the numbers kind of, and letters kind of disappeared because of the brown in the camo paper. So what I did was I took my white gel pen and I went on it a little heavier in some places and lighter in other and it does look good in person and I don't know how it's coming across in the camera and the flowers that I put in there this flower right there the brown one I that using pine cone and I got that from saw crafter so go check out her video on that she does a fabulous job creating things um, I love to watch her videos and I used some s10s the orange ones are the s10s and a few cherry blossoms and I'm not sure what the roses are. I'll try to remember to put those on the screen. Sometimes I forget to do that. <laughs> and a couple of the Martha butterflies there. I used Tim Holtz's pine tree dye. And you can see the back. I used green behind that one too, like I did the other one, just to give it some dimension. And cut the tree out with burlap and put that up on pop dots so and I think it looks perfect like it was meant to be behind that antler bottom I added the rocks like I did on the other one and put three of the cherry blossoms in there I had three white ones but it just looked um, a little strange to me so I added the green ones so it would fill in the area and then up above there I added, yeah, right there. I added some more flowers, which I don't know why I'm pointing. I'm sure you can see that. <laughs> um, two cherry blossoms and then one of the roses and then orange S10. And then Martha's um, butterfly there again. Um, and I always do my butterflies in a double layer. 
and I used white but walnut stain sponged them and then sponged the edges a little darker and that just looked way better. I used a couple different colors of papers and it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. The cutouts from Lacey Label, what I did was um, I used white as a layer but like I did on the butterflies I sponged it with the walnut stain and then sponged use my distress tool on all the edges and edged everything in the walnut stain also and I think it turned out super perfect cute sorry about that and I know she's gonna love it so but if you guys have any questions just give a holler and have a super great week